Bar and hammer. back on the Mahoney project when we were here before it was just the way it was and what a difference as you're going to see here we demoed out all the flat gravel roof tar and gravel roofing left some section inside that we're framing over but look now look and see what it looks like now the eaves are still in place and everything's going to die right back down into the eaves and then they'll be bracing keeping all these rafters up and they're running those purlin walls now and we're going to go up inside now and check it out Step through. There you go. You're standing on a flat roof. That's good. You're safe. <laughs> I try to scare Morgan. So on this one, we get to have a work surface to work off of. And we can reach things a lot easier. That's not usually the way it is in new framing. you got joists, but this is all decked where the old roof was. So I don't have to do any balancing act walking up here. Two by six rafters with a purling wall being constructed. It's not completely finished, but you can see how it's going to take the span off of the rafters and be able to use a smaller dimension lumber, but they're 16 inches on center with the radiant barrier plywood that we see here. That's the best radiant barrier you'll ever get is whenever you do a new roof. Just have it on the back side of the sheathing. It's, a, it's called a tech shield and it really reduces the attic heat. But you can see all the cuts look really good, the little wall. That little wall that we see over here is very important. This wall is not there just to support the rafters because the rafters are, are they would support out here. But the reason this wall was built is because this is the very point below is the wall in the home. Right there is the wall of the home. So we want to take that weight and don't put it on the outside where the eaves are, which is a lot of people would do. But we want to take and put that weight right there where the edge of the wall is down below. And that's that's what's going to keep the eaves straight. If you put too much weight on those eaves, they start sagging and you'll get a hump in the roof. And so this is going to make for a real straight. When we walk out, we're going to see how straight these eaves are. It really looks good. So what they got here is they're straightening these out. Show that right there, where he's nailing it. He's got one guy pulling on it, one guy straightening it out. There you go. Yeah, that way every rafter is straight. Somebody down there siding it, and then somebody pulling it, and then somebody nailing it. Here, beat that one up so that it sucks it down. Let me borrow a hammer. Here you go. Good looking cuts. Can you look at those? Now all those are tight cuts right there. That's a good looking roof. That's what we want to see. Now over here, build this, build this masonry chimney up. We've got to build this up past the new roof section, which is going to be right around here somewhere. Fortunately, we're blessed with good weather right now, but rain chances are coming. We're going to have to work hard to get it done.